We have worked for over 15 years now with one of my favourite personal tournaments, the Gothia Cup in Sweden. Um, based in Gothenburg, a uh, fantastic destination. It is the world's largest youth soccer tournament in the whole world. Um, fantastic quality of competition, great organisation. Brings in approximately 1,250 teams from 125 different countries on an annual basis. They all come into Gothenburg, they stay there for approximately seven days. Um, fantastic off the field activities, great organisation. They have approximately 17 different satellite sites. They have a headquarters where the kids can do a lot of stuff that's certainly not soccer based or, you know, and, and they can go and mingle and, and meet kids from other nationalities. One of my favourite stories, one of the teams we took from Maryland um, in the early 2000s, they, they played a friendly game against a team from Ghana and from Africa. Um, had a fantastic experience. They took the, the opposing team for pizza after the game. Um, they exchanged contact details. They gave them a lot of their uniforms. They gave them their cleats. This team didn't really have a lot. Mm -hmm. um, they formed a really unique bond in, in such a way that these kids from Maryland kept in touch from the kids from Ghana. And two of the players returned to Maryland as international foreign exchange students. Uh, they stayed in Maryland for a couple of years and really changed the direction of their life. And, and I think that's the, the kind of opportunities that events and tournaments like the Gothia Cup are like no other. Um, bringing kids in you know, from all different nationalities, from all different cultures, playing the world's global game in just a, such a fantastic environment. And I, I can't speak highly enough of the experience of the Gothia Cup.